Welcome to Allies or Enemies. This time, we are looking at Autobahn. Our copy of the game was provided by the publisher, but the thoughts are all our own. Autobahn is a one to four player game designed by Fabio Lopiano and Nestor Mangoni that puts players into the shoes of transportation officials planning the famous Autobahn roadway that winds through Germany and into other parts of Europe. The game starts in 1946 when the first asphalt was laid and has players slowly building to the present day, one slab of road at a time, while also adding service stations and driving trucks to places to deliver the family sedans, washing machines, and Erlenmeyer flasks that we all use today. But before we go too far down that road, let's look at how it plays. Although Autobahn is a somewhat heavy game, the main actions you take are actually fairly simple. Most often, the bulk of your turn will be playing a card into one of the spots above your player board and then taking the corresponding action on the route that matches the color of card that you just played. These include building a road, upgrading a link, loading up a truck, building a service station, and unlocking technology, which both provides a bonus power and opens up administration departments for scoring. Occasionally, instead of taking an action, you'll just pick up all of your played cards and gain coins. After this, you drive your trucks along routes to try to drop off your goods if possible, and then play moves around the circle. But while that is all pretty simple, where the thinkiness comes in is all of the bonus actions that everything that you do creates. Providing extra actions, collecting tokens, changing the values of the cities, trying to complete route goals, using technology powers, and most importantly, promoting your top-hatted employees up those scoring tracks. At the end of each era, there's a mini income phase, and at the end of the third era, points are scored. And this is entirely based on your employees in the administration building, who score for things like money, service stations, deliveries, and employees. And then the greatest autobahner, is named. Autobahn will feel different at different counts, mostly because of the competition for pretty much everything. With more players, there are more available bonuses for delivering goods, and there are more open seats in the construction offices. But otherwise, the physical things stay the same. The size of the map, the roads needed for each era, the number of service station spots, etc which basically means that more players, you will do a bit less of all of it. In a two-player game, it is pretty doable to get out all of your service stations, zip around the development track, and have an army of administrators ready to score. Well, in a four-player game, there are more people pushing the eras forward, which will mean fewer turns per player. Also, because this can be an AP-inducing game, the possibility of brain jams increases with more brains. Three players might be the sweet spot here to tighten things up enough while not having big gaps between turns. There is also a full solo mode with a competitive bot driven by a deck of cards and one of four solo boards of different difficulties. It does work fairly well once you get a handle on it and it is a competitive opponent, but it takes a bit to get your head around and you need to be comfortable with taking on a bunch of upkeep as you bounce back and forth between player and bot. Autobahn has a few small bits that will vary from game to game. Your starting route card will definitely change up the early game and give you a focus as you start to build. There are also six different delivery boards, which will change both the shipping bonuses and which countries want what. But the biggest point of variability will come from the snowballing decisions that you make. Which bonuses are on the cards that you upgrade, which bonuses you pick up on the board, which administration floors you open, and which two actions you decide to upgrade, because you can only upgrade two each game. And much of this will at least partly be decided by what your opponents do and if you want to directly compete with them or take a different path. Our version also came with a number of mini expansions, including wine deliveries, traffic, and upgraded service stations, which are available in the Kickstarter upgrade pack. But for now, the base game has been plenty to wrap our heads around. 
the overall production of Autobahn is solid, but we do have a few nitpicks. First, the positives. All of the wooden bits are terrific, especially with the silk screening from the deluxe version. But even without that, all of the player pieces feel nice and look great on the board, particularly the trucks, which very pleasingly fit the various containers on their flatbeds. Also, the player boards do a great job of laying things out, and the main map looks terrific. On the tricky side, the city value tokens are tough to keep track of and have a bit of a weird font, and the roads feel too small, especially as they don't quite fit the trucks. Also, the iconography can be tough to get down. All of these lead to some extra rigmarole in a game that has quite a lot to keep track of already. A player aid would have been worth its weight in washing machines here, as it can be easy to forget a step. But again, we can't stress enough how pleasing it is to load up a truck with a container full of science. Autobahn is going to appeal to a specific set of players, but for the right player, it will really appeal. It's very much a Euro, but there is a surprising amount of interaction in pretty much every decision that you make. If you place a bit of road, it could open up a service station spot, or help someone else deliver their goods, or bump someone else's worker up the administration section, which is going to help them score. It all feels very much like competing companies begrudgingly working on the same job. But none of it feels particularly mean, because everything you do adds to the whole. You just want it to add a lot more for you. And all of that tactical play feels rewarding, especially when you pull off a smart combo. And it helps keep us engaged for pretty much all of the two-hour runtime. But it does also demand a lot of forward planning and remembering of all of the steps, which could be a barrier for AP-prone players or those that just want to make lighter choices. The other possible tricky comes in the era income phases, which are clever and add some nice theme, but also take a lot of extra upkeep and a chunk of math that can slow things down a bit. But despite those caveats, if you enjoy slightly heavier games and are looking for a highly interactive Euro, this one could be worth the drive. And that is it. Have you played Autobahn? And what are a few of your other favorite heavy Euros? Let us know in the comments, and as always, please like and subscribe. And hopefully, we'll see you all next time for another game.